Singapore <laughs> boy has revealed why he didn't join the NSANS campaign earlier. The self-acclaimed African giant said he was dealing with a personal issue at the beginning of the NSANS protest. He disclosed this on Twitter to his followers who have been dragging him for being silent for a while. And I quote, I was dealing with a personal family issue at the beginning of the protest. My mom had serious surgery last week. We, are, we were all invested in making sure she recovered. I am not about to put that in on social media, uh, into the social media life. We decided to focus solely on being, we decided to so focus solely on this being about the protest he wrote. See, Shah talk Shah. Obviously, this is coming off the back that he's been very heavily persecuted for his, will I say, lack of engagement with the, the, with the protest, especially for somebody who has created this ideology of, you know, um, being ready for revolution and we're not. And now that the re revolution is, is happening and he's seemed to be, you know, somewhat um, absent, There's, he's getting a lot of black backlash from that. But do you think that this, I mean, how does this actually even sit with you guys? Okay, for me, um, it's a lot of family is everything. That's mm. one thing I'll always say. Um, I care about my country. I'm patriotic. But God forbid, if my mom has to be in a situation where I have to attend to her, I'll attend to my mom before I attend to Nigeria. <laughs> Quote mm. me. I'm not saying I'm running for president tomorrow. Mm. But if possible, just know that I would always put Nigeria first before I put America first mm. as well. Mm. That's just how it works. So if for any reason I have to attend to my mom first, of course I will attend to my mm. mom first. So this sits well with me that Bonner Boy is saying that, okay, my mom is the reason. And um, has Bonner Boy done his own part? I personally didn't get on the streets to protest until Sunday. And the NSAS protest started on Wednesday, right? But because of my job, I wasn't able to be on the streets until mm. Sunday. It didn't mean that I didn't have good intentions of the NSAS protest. Mm. It didn't mean I did not care about Nigeria. It didn't mean that I didn't care about the, Niger the Nigerian youth mm. plight. I did. But I couldn't. I couldn't go until Sunday. And um, yesterday, I was supposed to go. Something came up again. It ended there. But am I playing my part in making sure... Like, I, I can't remember the actress for the life of me who said, those that can tweet, let them tweet. Mm. Those that can gram, let them gram. Mm. Those that can um, Facebook, let them Facebook. Those that can put it on their WhatsApp status, let them do. Those that can just write a message to all their family members, let them do. We all have a role to play. It's dissemination of information about the NSAS movement, about the police brutality, about what we're facing in Nigeria. So whichever way you can. And Bonner Boy has dropped billboards. It is there. NSAS, NSAS, NSAS. Mm -hmm. If it is only 20 people that have seen it, Bonner Boy has played this part. I think that I like um, how you started before he took it from there where you said um, that no matter how we want to come in, that someone has done something in one way or the other. And um, and it's also because of the kind of perception that Bonaboy has built for himself over the mm. years and making it feel like um, the youths are lazy, even if it's in his songs, saying that we are not standing up for our rights mm. and all that. And people would naturally expect that oh, when though. it is time for us to stand up for our rights, which we are doing right now, mm. someone like Bonaboy will be part of that movement. Mm. Also remembering what happened between himself and Showare mm. and that's back mm. and forth, you know. Mm. But um, I, I think he has done a lot in his own right. right. Um, however, um, I mean, yesterday I was in the protest, like you rightly said, and the billboard that I expected that would be showing NSAS, NSAS, were showing different brands at different brands, and I'm wondering um, what was the communication? Mm. Uh, is it that is payments? Is the payment, you know, has the payments payment ended? You know, because if you want to, <laughs> if you want to say that is the angle you're going to come from, I think you have to really have enough. Yeah. Especially when you know that Lekki Toll Gate is our meeting point, mm. and that's like I you maybe know, thought it was going to end by mm. Friday, and it didn't. He end. thought you this is not that. a thoughting issue. This is something that's supposed to continue. At this point, he's supposed to have been able to change that answer to end police brutality. You know. And have and have it going on but um i just wish that um, nigerians can really cut him some slack um his his That's mom's right. health is is paramount uh -huh. and i believe that she's okay now mommy bona wish you quick recovery Absolutely. <laughs> but the recovery cannot pass one week now <laughs> so i don't know <laughs> what so uh, it's time you know the recovery can what be what did she what what you what don't is know it didn't disclose uh, what know? is the surgery that we passed two weeks to get better really Surgeries. Uh, uh, I mean, how, how long do they use? On, on an average. Uh -huh. On an average. Mm. Depending on what as, surgery. As long as he has not said there's a complication on the surgery. surgery. 
Okay, well, that, that's that's not even the argument. I have to agree, I have to I, I agree with you. Your, the way you ended the conversation to say that you know whatever it is, and it's not really I'm not time keepers on somebody's recovery fair. And I really do hope that she um, gets better. Gets better. I've, I've I've always suspected that Bernard Boy is the kind of person that talks more than he does. So this doesn't really come to me as a big surprise. You see, the the thing about this story that I picked out was when he said he is on social media. So whatever is wrong with her, it's not it's not bad enough that he cannot be on social media. Mm -hmm. He can be on social media and that he just limited to social media because he has other things to focus on mm -hmm. and you see from even that is not enough because I think that what he's done we on social media We were here on the same table when Kevin Nat had the surgery after his car accident for a month and he was not able to uh, um, attend if the event. Are you comparing Kevin Hart? Like he went, he had an accident. Do you know what happened to Mama Bona? Wow. Mama, Mama Bona had whatever an accident. Happened to if if okay, you know what? This is not about her health if because are you whatever the, it is. Are you missing is, the point that whatever happened to Mama Bona, it's okay for Bernard Boy to still tweet because he's saying that he can still tweet. He doesn't just want to put Mama... See, yeah, so what you saying? Bernard Boy has chosen to put his money where his mouth is. Thank you, Bernard Boy. And he's Big doing the billboard, you, yeah? Well and done. I saw someone tweet at him to say, we don't have the billboard in Portacoto. And he said, we're working on it. Some mm. bureaucracies is going on, mm. but he's actually working on it to get it up. So mm. I'm saying that the people that he's told for Lucky Toe Gate, he should go back to them and tell them mm. he's not showing again. And we want to end police brutality. Like, spice it up, right? Yeah. That's what you want to do. You are I tweeting. Think I, I, see, I appreciate yeah. it I as far as I'm concerned. You're just a citizen. A yeah. I want him to do a lot more, definitely. Yeah. I want him to use more hashtags. I know somebody was saying that in, in a thread, and I looked through his profile, and I noticed that I want him to do things like that, especially if you're only going to be working in the digital space, yeah. which is not a small thing, it's absolutely. Not. But I think you can still go a lot harder with the digital space. Yeah. I'm going to give him credit for something that he created, though. I've forgotten the name of the page now. He created a page for that, and he was sending people to, you know, sending traffic there where they're documenting what's happening with SARS. He's doing mm. a lot of things. But I feel like I, I would tell anybody, not just Bernard Boy, even myself, and anyone who cares to listen, that we can definitely do more.